What's up, honkies? So, Tuesday evening, uh, going on 8.15 p.m. Standard Eastern Time. I'm back in action, back like crack. Uh, even though I don't do it, but I'm just kind of like a loser. But, you know, I'm just myself. I try to be myself, that's all I do. But, uh, the best thing you could do for you is be you. That's the only thing I. So, yeah. Yeah, I heard even if it hurts you. Uh, learned that a long time ago from someone. Oh, man. Oh, man. Many moons ago. But, uh, moving forward here. Yeah, uh, top of the beer is gross. Dust and dirt. Mm -hmm. Man, fucking deer. Ooh. Got a couple Budweiser, Tall Boys, Budweiser, Bush, Genesee, one can of that. Uh, I have two cans of Genesee. Guess not. But, uh, moving forward, I uh, got my fetish beer here. It's like really, really, really difficult to find. Uh, I think this is the only spot I found it at the store, but uh, this is a Schlitz Red Bull. They discontinued this. That's like my fetish beer. My other fetish beers. This one's my main fetish beer. Oh, and mine, Milwaukee Best. Oh, and mine. That's my main one. This is my backup fetish beer right here. So it's Red Bull. But, uh, basically, I poured it into this can for my fetish fetish session. But let me just tell you guys, it's disgusting when it's warm. When you warm it in the sink. It's freaking gross. The only reason I like Steel Reserve is because of a movie, uh, Cable Guy with Jim Carrey, and it's union made. This stuff shit's union made. So, uh, uh, it's a lager, it's not malt liquor. I went ahead and painted this black part of my sword black. I'm going to check it and see if it's, it still hasn't dried yet. Flip it over later. Spray the other side. Looks better than this, doesn't it? Better than that side. I'd rather it look like that. Got my steel reserve. Ugh. for some steel reserve show you another trick in the trade in my books sometimes a man of few words is a man better than a man of more words
cheddar jalapeno. Lays. <coughs> They're delicious. You know what would even be better? Would be the thick kettle cut thick. The wavy chips. Put throw some sour cream on it. Injustice, a lot of injustice lately going on in the United States. Bogus stuff about wearing masks. I'm so sick of that. Forcing us to do shit. Like, what are they going to do? Make us wear suspenders? Make us wear gas masks? Uh, make us wear diapers? How do you? They're telling us what to do. They're forcing us physically, psychologically. The government. <coughs> Government should have nothing to do with a disease. Do you really think they care about our health? They don't. So it's a it's a game. They're playing a game. It's a sick game. Doctor Fauci. There's a lot of Dr. Falsy, that's what they should call him. Doctor full of bitchy, full of crap. You know, they make it's a cover up, you know. They make an excuse like whatever person passes or dies from, they blame it on the COVID. It could be cancer, it could be AIDS, it could be someone got hit by a car when well, they got died by the COVID virus. Someone died of old age. Well, it was the COVID. It was Corona. No matter how that person dies, they are forced to put coronavirus to make the numbers go up. It's, it's a scheme. They're scheming us, finessing us. That's what it is. Um, there ain't no such thing as an invisible. Visible killer virus going through clouds in the sky. Uh, put it this way a mask is just as effective as wearing underwear if a person farts. The fart's still going to go through the underwear. So why wear a mask? But it's a sign of our times, which sucks, you know. It's, I have a feeling things will pick up and get better next year. But this year is just, 2020 has just been hell. I mean, it's really been a fucked up year. Uh, shutting down airplanes, shutting down schools, shutting down sports. No NBA, no baseball, no football, no school. You know, it's a bunch of bullshit. And plus, you know, kids are on vacation out of school. They go back in August. We're approaching August now, so, and you know, people have told me time and time again, once the election is over, you know, the coronavirus is going to disappear. It's just a setup. The coronavirus is just to throw us off track, shut the economy down, control the population, uh, scare people for um, other reasons, um, ulterior motives, you know. Of stuff, just look it up. Google it. Look up stuff about conspiracy theories. Look it up. I'm just telling you guys what's the facts, you know, like what's up, you know, it's a sad state, you know. Sad affair. I got one more video, stay tuned.